Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a little video where I just leveled up like three levels at a time. So I'm on a brand brand new 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 account and the reason I decided to make this brand new account is because I wanted to talk about um, the maze. So when you first start a brand new account, you're going to get this castle, this new event, this maze called the Swamps and Castle Maze. And during this event, there are two available monsters. Prince Charmless and Marquis de Flambe and you actually can get both of these monsters so I want to talk about how exactly you get them so you should know that you get this maze island you you get it when you reach level 7 okay so this is super important you need to plan for before you reach level 7 the minute you reach level 7 the maze will start and then you have 7 days to do the event now this is going to be critical because there are certain discounts that happen throughout the game so Let's say you're playing the game at midnight and you reach level 7 at midnight, then at midnight the event will start for you. But if it's like 4 4 p.m., the event will start for you at 4 p.m. So now you have to think about when do you want to level up to level 7, okay? So right now, for me, when I made this new account, it's 6 p.m., which is a perfect time, you know? Assuming right, like, as a time recording this video, there's a bunch of time I'm home, like, 24-7. But when if, if it was a regular time and you have work, or you have score, or whatever... Be smart about when you get to level 7. So anyways, the Swamps, Knights, and Castle Maze. What I wanted everyone to know is that you actually can get Charmless completely free to play. I was looking through the comments of basically I on my new um, Let's Play series, on my certain new account series. What I, what I ended up finding out was that you actually can get Charmless for as little as 2,000 gems with a 30% discount. And there is a 30% discount the first hour the limited edition pathway is released. So what you should know is that two days from now, exactly two days from now, and I will update it if I'm wrong on the timing, but I'm pretty sure it's two days from now, I missed a 30% discount because I basically had the game on, and I guess two days had passed when the game was on, so I, I never got the notification of a discount. But basically, two days from the time the maze starts, you're going to have a 30% discount. And if you can get 2,000 maze coins, you will definitely be able to get Charmless. And getting 2,000 maze coins is not hard, because you can get 225 maze coins every single four hours. And these are the different ways you get maze coins. Collecting gold, collecting food, feeding your monsters, hatching your monsters, breeding your monsters. Those are the four diff the six different ways to get maze coins fighting PvP. Okay, so let me show you guys this. Let me exit out real quick. So yeah, we have the Swamp Knights and Castle Maze because I made it to level 7. I actually made it to level 8. And you actually can do PvP. So what I would say, the minute you unlock the Swamp Knights and Castle Maze, you also want to get to level 10 so that you can start doing PvP and getting your 15 maze coins. Because you actually get 15 maze coins right here. Watch, we'll click on that. Fighting PvP, you get 15 maze coins. Everything else is pretty straightforward. You literally just, here, let me, you literally just collect gold. And you'll slowly and surely get your maze coins. You'll sh surely and slowly get your maze coins. Collecting food is also pretty straightforward. Um, breeding and hatching, that, that one might take a while. So basically for every Pandakin, for every Greenasar, every Treasard or... or um, Firestar that you breed, you're gonna get one maze coin. The best way to do this is if you can somehow upgrade this to like, if you can somehow get 40 gems. Um, before the, the um, basically the first thing you want to do is you want to upgrade this so that you have two. Okay, you want to do that so that you have two hatcheries, and then you want to be able to breed to where is it? You want to be able to start building a Thunder Eagle habitat, and then on this right here, you're gonna want to hatch a Thunder Eagle. So I would say, I think at level 6, you can actually start doing the Thunder, the Thunder Habitat. So I would say, at level 6, do not get so much experience points. Just take your time slowly, get that Thunder Habitat, and then you also want to buy a Thunder Eagle. Because Thunder Eagle takes exactly 4 hours to hatch and 4 hours to breed. You actually want 2 Thunder Eagles. So then you can breed your Thunder Eagles, and then you'll, you'll get 50 Maze Coins every time you breed and hatch. So that's going to be the best way to do it, to make sure you get the maximum number of Maze Coins. On top of that, in the dungeons... You also need to be level 10 for dungeons. There's going to be a, a maze coin dungeon where you can get 1,000 maze coins. So you, you have more than enough time to get enough maze coins to get Charmless. So if you want to get Prince Charmless, I'm here to tell you it is possible. You can definitely do it. So don't worry about thinking you might not have enough maze coins. I was going off my knowledge of like long-term player mazes. In long-term player mazes, you need like 4,000 maze coins. Well, Social Point made this one a lot easier. So with that said, it's around 2,000 maze coins to get Prince Charmless. And as far as Marquis, you can just watch my episode 9 or episode 10 where I got Marquis, and you will see how much it costs to get him. But I do believe both monsters are actually manageable, assuming you're smart about the way you do this. Now the other thing I want to talk about is there's this thing called the Flash Offer. The Flash Offer actually happens whenever you run out of maze coins. 
So I'll actually demonstrate right here since I'm, I don't really care too much for this account. So collect and watch. Watch what's going to happen. I am going to move again. And watch what happens. Bam! You see that? Flash offer. So what is this flash offer you may ask? It is basically a pop up message where you can spend a certain number of gems and the game will give you a ton of maze coins. That number of maze coins is enough to get Marquis and Charmless without even sweating it. Now the problem becomes, how do you get 42 gems? How do you do it? How do you get those? Now the, the, the tricky thing about the flash right here, the flash offer, is that it is always going to cost 20 more gems than what you have. See how it says I need 20 gems? The reason Social Point does this is because they want you to spend like they want they just want to get you spending right away right they want you to spend two dollars and buy a couple of gems now i'm assuming you guys are going to be free to play so assuming you're free to play you you, you got to find a way to get those 20 gems right so here's what i would say um one don't move and don't waste your maze coins right away what i would do is kind of set up the game in a way so that when you know you're going to run out of maze coins and the flash offer appears bam you can get your 20 your 20 gems now how may you do that you may ask well Let's scroll up here. See how we have this growth spurt event and this will give you five gems. Well, what if you wait growth spurt event? Basically, there is a time when all the growth spurt events for me, it is at 11 p.m. Pacific daylight time. So what if before moving, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to or what if I started the game? What if I start my maze at 11 p.m.? That way, whatever growth, whatever events we have, whether it's gold fever whether it's the breeding fever or the breeding whatever or whether it's growth spurt i know that i can make it to the to the fifth point and get my five gems right away so within these 15 minutes what if i get my five gems that's five gems there um there's also daily goals now i think goals unlock at level 15 so you can rush to level 15 and there are ways to get some gems in the daily mission not the daily missions um i think achievements achievements has some ways to get gems aside from that there used to be a thing said that if I logged into Facebook, I would get 10 gems. Well, why don't you maybe not log into Facebook, right? Why don't you wait until this pops up? And why don't you wait until the flash offer pops up so you can get 10 gems from Facebook, 5 gems from the growth spurt events or whatever event you have going on, gold fear or whatever it may be. That's already 15 gems. Now you just need a way to, now you just need to find a way to make 5 extra gems. So that can be done. Um, oh, actually, I know, I know how it can be done. Uh, let me see. How do I level up really fast? Another way it can be done is with the pass. So I think I'll just transition to my new account, to my baby account. So here is my account. Um, one of the things you get on on the new on your account is you're going to unlock the chance to get a Legends pass. And look at that first reward right there, five gems. So imagine when the flash offer pops up, making an account, um, making a Facebook account, you get ten gems automatically. The Legends pass, that's five gems. That's already fifteen. And then five gems from the growth spurt event, that's 20 gems. So it's it's all about timing. It's all about, if you want to do this free to play and you, you can be smart about when that flash offer appears and your timing and you'll be able to get five gems. Now, let's say you can't do the growth spurt event or gold fever, whatever it is. Well, again, get to level 10, maybe get to level 15. And let's see, not daily missions, but achievements. Is there anything in achievements? Let's scroll down, um, rank up monsters. Unfortunately, that's not going to help. I think there's one for joining a team. But that, that you have to get to like level 16 or 17, which I guess you could technically rush to that level because there's really no harm in rushing to that level. I really do want you to get your foundation with panic and farming, but you can still do that at level 20. So I would say just kind of be smart about the way you do it. Honestly, with the pass, see, I still haven't collected these five gems. But I would say with the pass, with growth spurt or gold fever or whatever's going on, plus logging into Facebook, that is how you can actually get your 20 gems. Because again, unfortunately or fortunately however you want to view it social point makes it so the flash offer will always cost 20 more gems than whatever amount you have if i would have had zero gems guess how much the flash offer would have cost it would have just cost 20 on this account um i think it's video two or three episode two or three you can you can see how much it costs it's always 20 more gems than whatever you have so you can be smart about it you can definitely be smart about it and then i also do believe the flash offer can come up more than once it's not just a one-time thing but it does only last for 15 minutes. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, you can definitely, I mean, that is a good number of maze coins for a low number of gems. If you can find a way to do it somehow, that would be awesome. Oh, and then for whatever reason, if you're lucky enough to have monster wood, oh my goodness, you are in such a lucky standing because with monster wood, you can literally just do a task and get the 20 gems easy, right? Especially if it's one of those where you like, download this app, play for an hour or play 
or do this or do that and bam look at that submit email to get reward do i want to do it do i trust it and it's worth considering right so on this account for whatever reason i got monsterwood so i have no problem doing the flash offer and and getting that like super easily i could also do surveys i could also just watch videos and get gems so i think it depends like if you if you're lucky enough to get monsterwood um take advantage of that do the flash offer um it'll be it'll be super awesome let's see get reward in 20 seconds do a simple registration enter your email and press submit to get your in-game reward let's see if it actually works i'm curious let's see i am super super curious enter your email keep in mind guys i made a completely fake email so we'll try it out first name is bob last name is bobby address i wonder if i can just make up an address do 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 um let's see maybe i can just search for an actual address so on my desktop i literally googled random address generator and i'm gonna try it out see if it works and then by the way when you here i guess i should show you guys when you click on some sort of like when you accept to do something right if i click earn five um 594 gems you see those three little lines on the top left if i click on that and i go on status it actually tells me what you've done and haven't done so i did two of them just to kind of show you one of them Submit email to get reward. You know what? I didn't want to do that. So it says in progress. But the Papa John ones, that one says completed. So now I'm going to close the app and we're going to see what happens. I'm going to close everything. I'm going to go back into Monster Legends. And look, it's the new wallpaper, the new background. Let's see what happens with this. This is going to be exciting. Bam! 40 gems. Collect. Go back into the Swamp Knights and Castle. And look, I can afford it. And just like that, I have 7,490 maze coins. And now, if I want to, I can easily get Marquis, I can easily get Charmless. Now, the thing is, not everyone is going to have Monster Wood, but if you do have Monster Wood and you have access to it, and it's a happy hour, um, that's just a simple, fast, amazing way to do it. And with all of those with all of those things, I could have also maybe upgraded my hatchery. So, just be smart about the way you play it. The biggest reason I wanted everyone to wait until they saw me do a new account is so you guys can take advantage of any mistakes I didn't know. Like, for example, I didn't know that Charmless would cost 2,000 Maze Coins, so that's a great amount to do. Again, if you're going to be free to play, I definitely recommend just taking it easy in terms of getting the monsters. Um, if you want to pay the $2 to, to buy a 25 gem pack and then be able to, to get the flash offer, that's totally up to you. But I'm trying to really show you guys the more free-to-play way to do it. But anyhow, with that being said, that is going to be it for this video. Please let me know what you guys thought about it. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever about it. Thank you very much, and I will see you all next time.